me YouTubers, this is Lady Graves Dancer and I am Thursday's host here on The Witch's Voice. I am in my vehicle because I'm afraid I might run out of time to make the video so I thought I'm on the way to work. I usually just listen to music and sing all the way. I might as well make a video instead. Because this one we don't have to really show you anything. This week's topic was a coven or no coven and your opinions on um, when you think about being in a coven and not being a coven is what I understood. It's really bastard just just like cut me off and I'm recording the nerve. Anyways, my opinion, I don't really think either or about it. I mean, being a solitary practitioner, it does get lonely and that's why I go up to what I call the fellowship, which is a place where pagans gather. Um, it's not a coven. It's where uh, pagans and Wiccans and whatever your beliefs are can go and just be yourself and you can and you can join into circles and meditations they have classes and things like that it's just nice to be around um, other people who are like in mind are less judgmental and um, that is perfect that, that, that's perfect for me at this time where I'm at in my life I would not want to be part of a coven because mm, I don't want to piss nobody off <laughs> because I think it's great for those of you who have found a coven. The few that I know about and been around and actually were able to visit were very do what they say kind of places. Like circle at the fellowship that I go to, you do your thing in the circle. Circles at other places where there's someone who's leading the way, you need to do it the way they want it to be done. And I'm just not one to be told what to do is the thing, or how to do it, or that I'm doing it wrong. Because for me, in my opinion, you can't do magic wrong. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. For me, I don't have any intentions of joining a coven at this time. I, later on, after my practices have been going on for, you know, years and things like that, I probably will be part of a coven. I mean, I would hope to have sister witches close to me, brother witches close to me. You know, it's just right now, the way my practice is going, I am kind of the mischievous witch right now where I want to see how somebody is saying something must be done and I'll go do it another way just to see that it works because my feelings are your magic is your magic. So I hope I didn't upset nobody because I think it's great being in a coven for people who can follow directions better or, or maybe have been practicing longer or want that person to teach them and, and, and mold them in the way that they are. I mean, that's great. It's just, I'm too out there, bipolar, all over the place type of witch to go by the rules. So <laughs> it, that makes it difficult for me. And I'm, I'm just saying this through the experience, through the ones that I have been around. I'm not saying all of them are like that, because if you know of a coven in um, Dallas, Texas, that will let me be who I want to be, oh, please send me the link so I can go visit because I would really, really enjoy being around other witches more often, and I think that would be great. Share spells, you know, things like that. I, I really, really like that. A few friends of mine, we've been talking about doing Uvo so we can actually do ritual and spells together. I mean, there's nothing better than to being able, just like sharing a recipe with somebody. There, I mean, it's awesome. It makes cooking better and it also makes magic funner. So, yeah. If, if you know any around Dallas, Texas that will let me be me, then please let me know. But from what I have found around here and even online, the ones I found online, they don't. So I can't be part of that. So, but I'm not bashing it. I'm actually pro coven. I think it's great. It's just not for me right now. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video because I'm almost at work. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you at the next video. And as always, blessed be.